This is a video to discuss uh, an issue that maybe some of you also have. Uh, I have a Tesla Model 3 2020 standard range plus vehicle. Uh, what I want to show you on this is that if you look up here at the uh, percent, I show I have 33% left uh, on my battery. And if I look at the mileage, by tapping it, it shows 76 miles. If you put those two numbers together, the 33% and the 76, what it means is that my range is 220 miles. Unfortunately, that is not the correct range. The correct range should be 250 miles. So. A couple of other things I know, if you look down here, though it's a little bit difficult to see, I have under 16,000, so less than 16,000 miles on the car, and I seem to have lost some 30 miles of range for some reason. I've waited. This has been going on for a while. It has been stuck at 220 for a mile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a thing called recalibrate uh, my, uh, my battery. So I'm going to take the uh, range that I have of 33%. I'm going to bring that down to single digit uh, percent number. And once I get there, I'll begin to take the next step, which would be I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to charge it up to about 100%. Uh, and then I'm going to quickly drive it. And actually, I'll take you through the steps that I've found online. Are they right or wrong? I don't know. Uh, but a loss of 30 miles of battery life is a big loss, as you can imagine. So uh, let's see what we could do, and uh, we'll get something going. I just wanted to show you what I'm actually uh, using is uh, how to recalibrate your Tesla battery. This is from uh, June of uh, 2021. And uh, so I, I'm using this model. And uh, if you're, you've been staying at home, mostly short range trips, that is actually what I have been doing for a while now, as a lot of people have. Uh, so reset once in a while that's what I'm trying to do so I'm at the point of drive until your single digit percent range and that is what I'm doing uh, let it sit for an hour and then periodically either ping it with the app or open and close the door handle uh, charge it up to a hundred percent and do the same thing then be sure to drive it immediately. So I have to revolve uh, everything I'm doing around the, uh, uh, you know, I want to make sure it's not overnight that it happens. It's at a time uh, where I can drive it. So uh, I'm going to keep you up to date and uh, let you know how this works. I just wanted to show you what I'm actually uh, using is uh, how to recalibrate your Tesla battery. This is from uh, June of uh, 2021. And uh, so I, I'm using this model. And uh, if you're, you've been staying at home, mostly short range trips, that is actually what I have been doing for a while now, as a lot of people have. Uh, so reset once in a while, that's what I'm trying to do. So I'm at the point of drive until your single digit percent range and that is what I'm doing. Uh, let it sit for an hour and then periodically either ping it with the app or open and close the door handle. Uh, charge it up to a hundred percent and do the same thing then be sure to drive it immediately. So I have to revolve uh, everything I'm doing around the uh, uh, you know, I want to make sure it's not overnight that it happens. It's at a time uh, where I can drive it. So uh, I'm going to keep you up to date and uh, let you know how this works. Let me give you a bit of an update here. We're getting close. As you can see, I'm now at 11%. And 
I have this warning. So uh, sometimes shortly uh, I'll get it down to the single digits after this uh, ride I'm about to take and then we'll do the next step which is to charge up to 100 percent. Okay I've got to tell you this was one of the weirdest drives ever. So first of all you can see we're at seven percent single digits. Battery's very low no surprise there at all and the seven percent right now equates to 15 miles so if you do the math, I'm sure it'll come out around 220 miles. So, uh, got that. Now, I'm going to show you this. Let me go to trips. This current trip I just took. I, if you remember, I started, I think it was with 22 miles. I drove almost 20 miles in 36 minutes trying to get down into single digits and to use uh, all of the juice I could. Uh, my watt hours were phenomenal because it's a warm day uh, so my watt hours were 186 but I started with uh, I think it was 22 miles I drove 19 and have 15 left doesn't make sense, does it? So, did it calibrate? Uh, was this a case of the battery was so low that the region was very high? Uh, I don't know, but I think that this is amazing. But anyway, let's go and charge her up now. Actually, I'm not going to charge. I just remembered what I'm supposed to do now is let it sit for an hour, and that's what we'll do, and you can kind of see uh, how we did on this most recent ride I know is a bit of a glare. For one hour as best I could I have kept uh, the car awake via the app. Uh, so now as you can see I have 12 miles uh, and in percent I have 5 percent and so we're gonna go ahead and charge the car now. So I'm going to charge it to a hundred percent which is what the instructions had said and you could see here that that's exactly what I've done is I've moved this to a hundred percent. It's just saying the charging to this level will take longer. It could go on very long. On average it would uh, I'm here at home and it would take uh, oh about six hours, five hours uh, for it to uh, to charge. So uh, because we're going to 100, I expect the last uh, few miles to take a long time. So let's go ahead and start the charging. I know you could see there it says there's uh, seven hours remaining. That's a long time since I uh, it's suggesting I take a ride in the car. I don't know what any of you think. I, I'm not a big fan of the new uh, uh, graphic interface, uh, but we'll, I'll have to get used to it. So it is supposedly charging. It does show the charge limit at 100%. And as you could see, you'd have to go up to the corner now. Uh, you could see that uh, we're, right now we're doing 8 kilowatts, uh, 32 amps and 242 volts and I think that will equal about 35 uh, miles an hour that it will be charging so uh, again next thing you'll see is uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take a ride in the car well it is nighttime and let's see how we did we are at a hundred percent took about six hours which is what we thought and that 100% is 229 miles. So that is nine miles better than uh, it was before I did this. So the last step is supposed to be to take a drive. So I am now going to take a drive and uh, then we'll check it out and see if we have to do it a second time or where we are. Let's take a look at how we did on this trip. So, we just drove 
six miles and we used seven miles and by the way that fluctuated between 223 and 222 so uh, really interesting and our watt hours were 245 which is outstanding especially in the winter over the last 12 minutes so should I do it a second time well I don't know I'll think about it I will tell you that at a hundred percent charge that would and zero region when I took my foot off the accelerator I forgot that I actually had to use the brake it's been so long anyway thank you for watching this uh, test with me and I'll let you know if I decide to do a second test well now that I finished my test yesterday uh, which took a better part of the day uh, time-wise uh, to get things done including the uh, evening drive uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drive for a bit as you can see uh, I got nine miles back I had always been at 220 uh, the last several months <clears throat> so 229 I uh, would say I got nine miles back uh, of course you have to take into consideration it is winter the battery's cold etc etc so um, I'll drive this down and see what I think. Uh, right now, I believe I am going to do a part two uh, and redo the test to see if I can gain any back. Uh, because with so few miles on my car and so much short driving, I've kept the range between 20 and 80 uh, percent. It would seem to me that I should never have lost 30 miles range. Uh, in just that uh, short period of time. So I'll let you know.